Welcome to video two in our series on starting a WordPress blog. The first thing you need to do before you can stand up a WordPress blog is to find a hosting provider to serve your blog. The hosting provider is nothing more than the company that has servers to host your blog. So in this video, We'll talk about a couple of different hosting providers, some of the bigger names that you can go with. There are hundreds out there that you can use to host your blog. We'll talk about the top two. Don't need to confuse things. The two that I'll cover in this video are more than enough to get you started. If you are interested in looking for others, a simple Google search on WordPress hosting will provide you a plethora of options to choose from. Once you find the right hosting provider, you need to ensure that you have a domain name set aside for your blog. That is, how do people find your blog? www.whatever.com and you need to make sure that that domain name that you're looking for is available. Chances are, if it's a common name, you're not going to find it. So. You need to be creative in, in how you're coming up with a, a domain name. We'll talk a lot about hosting plans. There are a number of different hosting plans out there to host your blog. All of them have different costs associated with them. So we'll look through the different options for a couple of the different hosting providers. And then we'll just touch on billing a little bit around how you're going to pay for your blog. So let's take a look at a couple of different hosting providers that can provide you the services that you need to get your blog up and running. We are going to focus on two hosting providers as part of the scope of this video. First one you've probably heard of, the second one you may or may not have heard of. GoDaddy is by far the largest and most popular hosting provider in the world. There are people that have hosted websites that have complained about GoDaddy in terms of customer service or stability of their website. I have hosted numerous blogs on GoDaddy through the years and I have never had a problem. The second hosting provider is a company by the name of Bluehost. Not as well known uh, to the general public, but for those in the blogging sphere, um, a lot of people out there seem to use Bluehost to host their blog. If you stick with either one of these, um, you, you can't go wrong. You'll get the stability you need and the uptime and the customer service that you require to host a, a blog. So I would stick with one of these two. First thing you wanna do, and I would use GoDaddy for this, um, is you need to research the domain name. So if you're planning on starting a blog, you might have an idea on what the domain name is that you want for your blog. The first thing you need to do is see if that domain name is available. And GoDaddy has this front and center here, and it allows you to search for a domain name and see if that domain name is available. And the thing I want to call out here is when you're looking for a domain name, it's not just checking to see if that domain's available on GoDaddy, it's checking to see if that domain name is available no matter what hosting provider you use. So use GoDaddy to research your domain name. And you can do that right from their main page here. And you simply type it into the text box here and no, I don't want to talk. So let's just try a quick little test here. Let's say you have an idea for a blog on lawn care. I don't know, that's all I could come up with. And you would love to call your blog www.lawncare.com. So let's see if that is available. And you just simply type lawncare.com here in the text box, hit the search button, and you will see, sorry, lawncare.com is taken, no surprise there. And over here on the right, it will give you some ideas for other domain names that are available. 
lawncare.club, lawncare.care, lawncares.us for a dollar a year, $9.99 a year, etc. Um, I personally like to stick to the .com domain just because that is by far the most popular. I would not purchase this by adding it to the cart here because both hosting providers that we'll talk about here will throw in a domain name when you purchase a hosting plan. So save your $10 a year and get it as part of your hosting service. So let's look at hosting options and the different plans GoDaddy has. And you'll see here they have, um, if we click on hosting, you can see web hosting plans and they also have WordPress hosting plans. I would not use a WordPress hosting plan. Typically the WordPress hosting plans limit the functionality you get. So in GoDaddy's case here, they have four different plans to choose from, starting at $3.99 a month all the way up to $13.99 a month. And their two basic plans only give you the ability to host one, one website. They limit your storage. The basic, you only get 10 gig of storage. Deluxe, you get 15. They limit your bandwidth to 25,000 monthly visitors a month or 100,000 monthly visitors a month. And you can click on this if you're uh, interested in getting more information. Uh, 100,000 visitors a month is probably more than enough for anyone. But I, I just don't like to be limited to what they're giving me here. And the only thing a WordPress hosting package will really give you over uh, their standard hosting package is typically it comes pre-installed with WordPress. And installing WordPress is a piece of cake. It's not overly complicated. And I'm going to walk through, I'm going to walk you through that in, in some later videos here. So to show you what I'm referring to, if I take a look at GoDaddy's standard web hosting, and you want to stick with their Linux plans, you'll see the pricing is pretty much the same. They've got three plans to choose from. Lowest starts at $350 a month. Their mid-tier is $5 a month. But for $5 a month, I can host unlimited websites, meaning if I want to create another blog in six months, I don't need to buy another hosting plan. I can do it as part of this plan here. I get unlimited storage unlimited bandwidth. Uh, so I get all this unlimited, these unlimited pieces for $5 a month. Why would I uh, constrain myself with a WordPress hosting plan when I can get this through a standard hosting plan on, on uh, GoDaddy? And the key thing to call out here is free domain name with annual plan. And you get that on both of these. So when you register for this plan and go through, go through the registration process, you will enter the domain name that uh, you want to use for your plan and they'll throw it in for free. The other hosting provider that I wanted to talk about is Bluehost. And you'll notice their hosting plans are, are quite similar. Just for kicks, let's look at You'll see that they also have a standard shared hosting plan as well as a WordPress hosting plan. And I should talk about shared hosting for a minute. Any of these plans that you go with, whether it's GoDaddy or, or Bluehost, are shared hosting services, meaning they have hundreds of web servers in their server farms. And the way these companies make their money is they host multiple websites on a server. So when you're creating a blog, you are on a computer with perhaps hundreds of, of other websites. So let's take a look at Bluehost's WordPress hosting. Wow, $19.99 a month. That is crazy. There's no way in 
hell I would pay $19.99 a month to host a WordPress blog. Uh, just for kicks, let's see what they have here. Um, 100 million visitors per month, 300 million storage, RAM. Yeah, it's just, save your money. There, it, that's ridiculous. You do not need to pay $20 a month to host a WordPress blog. Um, and if we look at their shared hosting options, it'll be considerably cheaper. Yeah, this is more like it. $350 a month for their basic plan, $6 a month for their plus plan. You get unlimited websites, unlimited website, unlimited space, bandwidth, standard performance, you get an, an included domain. Um, so $5.95 a month for this compared to GoDaddy's deluxe plan, $4.99 a month. So you save a dollar with pretty much the same options. Um, so it's really up to you which one you want to go with. But the moral of the story here is you don't need to pay that additional cost with limited functionality for a WordPress hosting package. Go with a standard shared hosting package. As far as billing goes, you'll see it is in Bluehost case $5.95 a month versus $4.99 a month on GoDaddy's deluxe plan. You pay that up front. So in the case of uh, GoDaddy's deluxe plan here, $5 a month times 12 months, you're talking $60 for a year of hosting to host your, your WordPress blog. So again, you pay that cost up front and uh, you don't need to worry about uh, monthly renewals or monthly billing cycles. Uh, Keep in mind when you register for this, chances are that they have an automatic renewal at the end of the year, at the end of your 12 months, unless you decline that. So that's really it on the, the hosting plans and domain names. In our next video, we're going to cover how to install WordPress with a shared hosting plan that I've already that I already have set up on GoDaddy and you'll see how easy it is to do that. Be sure to click that subscribe button and be on the lookout for future videos that I'll be posting.